Alright, so if you play a lot of World vs. World, you will naturally accumulate a lot of these skirmish chests, which you pretty much just get every time you get these chests and stuff like that. I'm going to show you guys something that I've known for a long time, like when I used to play, obviously I've just come back, but um, I'm sure there's a decent amount of people who know, but there's also probably a huge amount of people who don't know that you can make a lot of money out of these skirmish chests. So. When you open these skirmish chests, you have the ability to either get these desert heroics or the new like jade ones. I have these skirmish chests from like, you know, back when I used to play. So Path of Fire and stuff like that. Obviously, as you know, I stopped playing through Ender Dragons, but I'm pretty sure the new ones have the new testimonies. So if you have a lot of these, you can buy heroics. And what you can do with these heroics is you can buy these runes. Now, some of these runes are much more profitable than other ones, but for each 75 heroics you have, you can buy one of these runes. Uh, so the most profitable ones, as far as I'm aware, is the Firebrand one, and I believe the Renegade one is the best one. But um, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of people buy these for PvE raids and builds and stuff like that. At least they did back when I used to play, and as you can see, the prices are still high, so clearly people are still using them. So, one gold 25 per piece, and you know, you can buy shit tons of these if you have uh, if you have a lot of heroics. So I can buy 24 of them. So there is a 20 silver charge per rune, but if you've got nothing better to use these heroics for, you're profiting a lot. Now, if you don't have the desert heroics, what you can do is uh, right there, you can trade the new jade heroics for the old desert ones, and then voila, you can buy heaps of these uh, these runes. So I'm gonna buy 24 of these, and that's gonna cost me four gold, 80 silver, and 1,800 desert heroics, which I don't mind getting rid of because obviously we've moved on to the newer currency. But I'm going to get rid of those and let's see how much gold I can make off of selling those on the trading post. So now with 24 of these, I can make 30 gold just about. So obviously taking away the trading post fees and stuff, almost 30 gold. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. So if you're just a natural world vs. world player, there's a way for you to make a quick buck. Obviously actively check which, uh, which one of these runes or uh, I think these sigils as well can go on the trading post, but obviously track which ones are doing the best and purchase whichever whichever one's gonna make you the most money. I'm gonna buy a whole bunch more. There's another five gold. And the thing is, I've got those boxes, those skirmish chests spread out across all my characters. So <laughs> uh, that's how I'm gonna that's how I'm gonna use my heroics and make a lot of gold. Um, I used to do it a fair bit. Uh, do keep in mind though, uh, that these heroics can also be used to get like hero points and stuff like that. So, use your heroics at your own cost. Uh, if you don't have any other specializations you want to max out and stuff like that, you've got heroics sitting around and you don't need any of this stuff, then go hard guys. I recommend it. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoy videos like this, I make a whole bunch of great content for Guild Wars 2. I only give my viewers the best, so whether that's entertainment or educational, you can assure you're going to get quality here. And let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this. Shout out to all my patrons. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can find the link in the description. We do monthly giveaways there for my patrons. Until next time, see you later.